I got another plant hole, but with a difference because <laughs> if you have something that's been offered to you on a really good price and it's some plants that you really want, <laughs> then who am I to refuse? But anyway, so this is two boxes from Nora's Garden as per usual. Now, I think I start with the top because the top is where I think the best ones. <laughs> oh dear, okay, open. My budgie is looking for me, he's upset. Look, there is straight away, see that's why I'm after the thank you gift. This is the only waterproof tablecloth I've got because I do have a new one and I don't know where I put it. Let's start with a gift. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. It says, Snow Candy Beauty. Thank you. GIF. Wait a minute. I already bought Snow Candy, did I? I already told you what I got, but anyway. This one is Snow Beauty. Ah. So there is a difference. So this is no beauty. Look how cute that is. It looks like a Pachypytum brachiosum. Only a little bit skinnier, but still pretty. So, okay, I just bought a snow candy. It's actually the same as the gift. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nora. You gave me the same, but doesn't matter. So now I've got a Pachyveria snow candy for $60. There you go. So this is what I paid $60. If they stress them or they get stressed, they look like this compared to this one that is unstressed. Can you see the difference? <laughs> I can. So now this one is going to be my candy and this is my snow beauty and good thing they got more so five because four is really an odd number or should i say even i prefer an odd number so we get five for the snow candy slash snow beauty now this is getting warmer <laughs> another gift i wasn't gonna buy anything but then nora sent me a message asking me oh i've got a monstrous something and i know you like monstros ones would you like to buy this one i put it aside for you and uh you can have it the next time you bought so because he's she's got that one set aside for me i couldn't help myself and look at her page and you know what happens when you look at her page you end up buying some more plants so now i've got ariel that's really really stressed okay so pink peach is I'm assuming this one and that one is Ariel Crested. There you go. Thank you, Nora. Oh, look at that. Three gifts. I can be so lucky, lucky, lucky. This one, I had a look and I really was after a blood moon because the blood moon I've got is only one and I just love it. So I thought even though this is a tiny one because it's only $25 cheap, so I thought I might as well get it. Hang on. I bet, but better be careful not breathe just in case I inhale it and it'll be gone. <laughs> so it's a variegated plant and it's sort of a double head. So it's still like a baby, but it will grow up to be big and strong. So it's actually a strong plant. So I'm impressed, but that's why I got another one, even though it's small. Last year, someone was encouraging me to buy some Beyonce. Beyond my comprehension, I said, no, I am not paying 200 bucks or something like that. It was. And I said, I'm going to wait. Now I waited and guess how much I paid for my Beyonce. So that's what it cost me. It's a bargain and I'm not going to complain. Now, how big are you? That is still a little bit wrinkly and dry, but I'm going to soak it. So anyway, Tuxpan Crest. Now this one. <gasps> that is beautiful. Tuxpan Crest. Gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. $35. $35. Still very cheap. And look, it's beautiful. Why am I talking funny? 
That's what <laughs> but it's all good. So I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I was just looking through the box here. What do I find? I am being spoiled. I am Nora, you are spoiling me too much. This is encouraging me to buy some more from you. Gift and no. So I've got a one, two, three, four, four gifts. <laughs> But I'm a return customer and I'm a very good customer. If you're a good customer, she will reward you. In a way, you save a lot of money. This is unknown. So I have to find a name for this. So this kind of looks like rhyme ice to me. So it looks very similar to rhyme ice. Noid. It's a noid. Okay, noid. You stay there, noid. This one, I've got a... I bought a Semper Vivum Cosmic Candy. Cosmic Candy is very beautiful. Now I just show you the photo and look how gorgeous that is. And now we're going to see it in person. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> there you go. Wow. Beautiful. Cosmically beautiful. I love Semper Vivum, by the way, except some Semper Vivum that has a uh, millibug or being or love a millibug. But it's my fault if I get millibug because that means I'm not looking after my plants and they need looking after. You don't just plant them and forget about them. You have to clean them and pamper them and water them and do all sorts of cute stuff with them. Like talk to them and that way they won't feel lonely and they will feel loved and they will grow. Because if you don't, then they won't grow. So now this one, Cosmic Candy, is very cheap. But it also has another pretty in pink in Cosmic Candy pot. This is the reason why I bought the Cosmic Candy. No, I'm just kidding. But this came with it because as you've seen on the photo, the two of them got together and this thing just grew in it. And I thought this looks kind of different to my Pretty in Pink. So it is a uh, Graptoveria Marpin and used to be Rose Queen, the name. But then now they change it to that. Kusu. What does Kusu look like? Hey, beautiful. Oh. This feels big, actually. I did not expect this to be big. I thought it kind of looks small, but beautiful. And look, oh, look, it's big. I thought it was like half the size. So that is a nice surprise. Because you love me. That's why you bought me. <laughs> this one, I have to blame this plant hole with this plant. So this is the plant that she offered me and saying, I've got this monstrous one. It's a lovely bear. Now, is it as lovely as, I already have a lovely bear, but this is monstrous. So I'm a sucker for monstrous. And look, babies galore. Look at that. And look, you're like a pancake. You got a flat face. Did you fall on your face? <laughs> so that's why I love it. So anyway, it's got a baby and lots more babies. So I think that is a bargain for $25. If you cross lavender pebbles and ebony, naturally you would think ebony would have some dark sides on it. But do I actually see some dark sides? No, this one doesn't have some dark sides. It's just have some darkening. But you can see that this is grown from a leaf. Look how big the leaf is. So if you remove that carefully, oh, but there's no root, so I can't, can't touch it. I have to leave it and let it grow. And hopefully those little bumps there, that might even grow to another LP cross ebony for $20. I already bought this plant from her before. And when I bought it, it was green. And it's not very expensive, but now my sparkles have started to sparkle and color up. That's why I thought I'm going to buy another cluster because they're only $12. Once they color up, they are beautiful plants. So they're ideal for my garden since I'm doing a lot of potted up plants. Now I can add it to the collection and I'm sure this will go all red, like similar to that color, not as probably intense as that red but maybe that red depending on the soil mix that you use but it has a different shape of the leaf the way they spread out so it's kind of more like a pointy rosetted shape so which is really really nice so for $12 you can't go wrong and if I grow this a little bit bigger and all colored up i'm sure someone else will be willing to pay 15 dollars for it if i do sell it so 
That's the only comparison I can say that it is worth it or justification. Now, next one is Malgan. This is another. Are you crescent? No, this is just a cluster. And Malgan for is quite expensive. I know. A lot of people will say if they pay $3, that's already expensive. And some people have got a higher threshold of expensive. And to me, <laughs> my limit is $20. Anything over $20, I say it's expensive. And now, so $35 for this one, two, three, four, five sort of heads. And my other Malgan is not doing very well. So I thought I only had one. So I might as well get a few more. So anyway, that one goes there. And in this box, it's already empty. We throw that in there. And I have a moonstone. I have three moonstones that I bought. And then now this is going to be my six moonstones, three headed for $25. I'm going to put it there, cut it short, do it really quick if I can get to it. And moonstone, this is actually the prettiest moonstone. That's the reason why I bought it. Because the ones I bought before were green, big but green. And this one, look how beautiful beautiful that is oh my goodness so yummy it looks so delicious i could eat it like the thing with the succulents is that they look like candies don't they see look at that beautiful so i'm sure i can grow some uh pretty babies out of that and then now i'm gonna go and do the next box fly to the sky i bought a teeny weeny tiny it's about that big of fly to the sky from my local nursery here for 11.29 I love the look of it. So I've been after a fly to the sky uh, since. And then I was looking online. There's a price. They're not very expensive. But I thought to myself, since it's so tiny like that, you don't believe me, I'll go get it. This is my fly to the sky. Isn't she beautiful? I had a fly to the sky before, a bigger one. But the label, I bought it from my local hardware store from Bunnings. And the label got blown away. And I don't know where it went. And now the plant, I don't know whether it's a fly to the sky or a swan lake. So that's why I, when I saw this, I thought, yep. I'm going to buy it, but now I love it so much that it has grown because it was like half the size and almost dead, but I just like the look of it. I don't know. It's just so cute, I think. It's just beautiful. So when I saw this from Nora for $10 <laughs> and bigger, then I thought to myself, yep, I'm getting it. It's big. I didn't expect it to be that big. And look at my small one. So I'm just obsessed with them. I love them. So our old pet, $13. I love old pet, by the way. So so far, I've got a one, two, three old pets. So now I will never have enough old pet because I'm putting this in the garden. Okay, so it's springtime. And normally, people have a different attitude when I buy roses or petunia for the garden. If I spend $500 on plants for the garden for the season, no one says anything about it. But if I buy succulents, all of, all of a sudden, people just have this... I don't know what's that attitude with succulents. The minute you say, oh, but some succulents, just succulents. Again, I don't understand that. But yet nobody says, oh, you bought some petunia again. <laughs> or bisilisi. There's a plant called bisilisi. And oh, this one is a cluster, by the way. And oh, beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? So anyway, so look at that. So that's a two head. My, my old pet now is really big and huge. And so I put, uh, I bought another one from my local hardware store for ten dollars, and it's also another big one. And but this one is just so cute and beautiful. So this one's, I don't know now whether I should put this in a pretty pot, or yeah, I'll put this one in a pretty pot, and uh, that way the other two can just grow in my garden to grow them fast. I love them. Red one crest. This is thirty dollars, but. Is it worth the $30 I paid for it? What do we think? We think yes, we think no. And someone says, no, you paid too much. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we open it. Okay, okay we do the surprise. Surprise! <laughs> it's beautiful. So this one is called the red one. And I am wondering now whether the red one and red wax are one and the same. Because I bought some red wax recently and it kind of looked the same. Maybe the fact that this is a crest, I am not complaining. So I am aware with that idea floating in my head before I said, sold. 
So I am prepared to buy this one for $30 and it can be a red wax. It can be a red one. It doesn't matter. It's beautiful. Next one is green smile. I only have one <laughs> green smile and I want a green smile that will cluster up so I can have plenty of smiles since I'm always smiling. Actually, always smiling. I'm always happy. I like to be happy all the time. And if you upset me then I won't smile anymore so I thought if I buy a green smile I can just give them a green smile if that's the case so green smile here is very cheap cluster and $15 because my green smile is like big about this so I need something a little bit small a little bit tame in the mirror so this one fell off from the back so it doesn't matter we go a green smile Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So I have some other ones I bought from Ikea before, but I don't think it's a green smile. It's something else. But anyway, this one, isn't it cute? Even though for a green thing, I'm just what now I'm, I can actually stress this out and put it out in the sun. And we will find out if she will continue to be a green smile or a red smile. Next one is Winds of Change. We have a local nursery here that we're selling them for like $6 a plant. And I was almost going to go over and get some, but I knew if I do, it's not going to cost me just $6 for one plant because I'm going to end up with a whole heap of other plants and it's going to cost me more. So I thought I might as well get this wind of change for winds of change. Oh, I always miss the the... the Yes, anyway, so this is a cluster for $12. So I think winds of change, you don't have any change. Actually, you can have change for your $15 because normally I think there was $6 for about one plant about this size. And look how many I've got a one, two, three. So I've got a few clusters here that I can put directly in my garden. And this is one of the plants that I am going to put in that pot that we drilled or melamine pot from Kmart that we drilled earlier and so the next ones will be oh this one I love this plant you are going to cry if you see this plant it's so beautiful but anyway is it gonna make my heart stop yes when I saw it I thought to myself and nobody bid on it because it's quite expensive remember my threshold of expensive is $20. Is it 20 or 25? 20. Normally anything over $20 is too expensive for me. Charlotte Rose for $35. Look at her! Isn't she beautiful? Just look at that face. I would love that face. So that is so gorgeous. Okay, so to me, if you like something, don't look at the price, just buy it. It's the same thing. If you want to eat something that's sort of expensive, just buy a little bit. So that's why I'm only buying, I only bought one <laughs> because I couldn't afford to buy a whole army of them. But if I could, I would. But look, there's a baby, I think, or a flower growing out of there or inflorescence. And maybe I could get some leaves and propagate it because there's no babies in the bottom. See, so, but anyway, oh, this one's on top as well. So hopefully I should really soak this up straight away and plant this up. But anyway, I think that is the last of the Mohicans. The only ones I have left is Tequila Sunrise Monstros. I got three of them at $13 each. And then I got Alba Beauty. And also I got Red Angel or Red Dragonfly Pachypytum. So this is a bowl of Red Angel. Now I really want to put this in a big bowl. My Monstros Tequila Sunrise because those green ones here, <laughs> they're not going to stay green. I have some Tequila Sunrise that just goes red in summer and they look so divine. And that's why I really want to put them all in one pot and pot them up. And this is the last, the Alba Beauty. So, sorry for all the shadowing, but hopefully you can still see the beauty of this Alba Beauty. So now, this is my trusty soaker. 
So I just need to top this up with water, seaweed solution. And I'm going to have to go and get some more. And I only need a little bit more, so I'm going to suck some up from here. And the other ones are ready to be planted, but some of these really need to be soaked. So I'm going to start with kusu. Lovely bear. Water's still a bit low, so I need to top it up. 